Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I hope you're doing awesome and I hope you're ready for my new Serbian lesson. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website, subscribe there. And I'm going to send you the additional resource I have prepared just for you and for this lesson. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to start with this additional material that I prepared. And because I'm going to share you uh, how is it possible to sport in different levels, um, let's start with something easier. Hmm? For A2 level, um, well, he said, Kad me noć ko naša ljubav opije, ovaj vazduh među nama zapaljivije. So when the night like this makes me drunk, just like our love, this air among us uh, becomes like a fire, okay? So it's about to explode. Dovoljna je jedna iskra tvog pogleda. Only one glance of yours is enough. Um, and... Samo jedna nježna riječ i gorim ja. So only one gentle word and I'm about to burn. Okay? Bićeš moja zauvijek. You will be mine forever. To dobro znam. I know it well. Okay? U tvom zagrljaju dušu odmaram. I relax my soul in your embrance. Dotir tvoj husana je kratak spoj um the touch of your lips is like a short connection is svaki put je prvi put živote moj and each time is like the first time my life you see so it's not so is uh, so difficult to um to get it so more uh, here there, there is a lot of Mm, description and here we have like some future bitches which is you will be we know it because of this chish bitches moya it will be mine okay great so let's see the next oh this one is if you are like passionate and stuff like that <laughs> i just don't want to say horny yeah, so he said, uzmi me. So uzmi me mean, literally means takes me, take me. Yeah, so actually she wants to have some sexual relationship with him. Yeah, so uzmi me, take me. Next it true, neka next it true. Like let it go, made them, um, may they wonder. Okay, uzmi me, neka svi pude. So may everybody. Uh, get crazy, okay? Budi moja prečita do sna. Be my shortcut to the dreams, okay? Uh, okay, here is a tapping mistake. I will correct. So it is uzmi me, neka ljudi vide. So take me, may the people see. Poljubi me, usne nek ti bride. So kiss me. Huh. You see, everything is imperative. Poljubi me, uzmi me, budi, etc. Okay? Um, so, kiss me and may uh, the lips uh, prick. And baš me briga što će sve da zna. I really don't care because the, the world, the whole world is going to know. Okay? Now, let's see something more complicated. For B level, for B level I prepared three songs mm -hmm. well again something more passionate it means i desire you it's like i'm horny yeah uh, i desire you so much literally would be like with force but actually <laughs> it's simple metaphorically said like Mm, maybe she wanted to describe that like she um, kind of hesitates to control her passion, you know, so it is so strong, it's like a huge force to her. So she desires him so much, okay? But 
the two words cannot tell everything. Koko bi rekle usne kad bi te ljubile. As much as the lips would say if they kissed you. Huh? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And then same here. Bojnte tako te ludo vojim, a vreći dve, ne mogu reći sve. Koko bi rekle ruke kad bi te grlile. Okay, so this song is completely... Uh, yeah, about passion and stuff like that. Okay, so here is something more romantic. It says, Kada bih se pored tebe jutrom budio. So this bih indicates that it is like potential. So kada bih se pored tebe jutrom budio, platio bih prdo pa, um, prdom zlata, sorry, not para, but zlata. Platio bih brdom zlata, ne bih žalio. Yeah. Uh, brdom zlata would literally mean like the pile of gold, like with a lot of gold. Yeah. Kada bi na tvoje ruci burma zasjela, nijedna mi želja više ne bi ostalo. Like, practically he, uh, his wish is to see uh, the, the wedding ring on her finger. And usually we would put it on the on the right hand, and usually it is on the third, sometimes on the fourth, but usually on the third finger we put the ring. Okay. Uh, and so at the end he shows a little bit of passion. Here, kada bi mi samo jednu noć poklonila. If you gifted me only one night. Zauvek bi samo moja dušo ostala, like my, my soul, my dear, something like this, you would uh, be mine forever, you know. So he wants to show her that, she, that he is that good in those activities. <laughs> anyway, and mm, okay. This one, last one, is good if you are up, um, if you're in a tough situation because somebody wants to break up with you, and you can say, "Ako me ostaviš, ako zaboraviš." If you leave me, if you forget me, ljubav više neću dati. I will not give love anymore. Eh, nikom veću verovati. I will trust no one. Ako me ostaviš, ako zaboraviš. If you leave me, if you forget me. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so, I hope you liked that part, that video. And so, now let me explain the one that I have from the article. Let's say, from my blog, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here, what I liked... Uh, yeah, is that we have like variety. Puto muškog srca vodi preko stomaka. Yeah, everybody thinks that. That you will conquer the, the man if you prepare him some wonderful meal. But I think in modern times it can be applied also to women. <laughs> because we girls also love food. But anyway, yeah. So the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Anyway, now we have um, the most popular love phrase among my students is this. Yasam Lopov. Lopov works for both sex. Okay, don't worry about this. So I am a thief, so it is nominative case. I ovde sam da ukraden tvoje srce. And I'm here in order to steal your heart. So don't get confused. Da, yes, it can mean yes, like a confirmation. But in this case, it is like in order to. So I use that here in order to uh, connect some and ukadem. I needed to connect somehow two verbs, so I needed that da. Okay. Now, uh, we have some <laughs> interesting, because it sounds a little bit scary at the beginning, but then it, it's becoming great and sweet. Uh, so, ja sam u bolnici. Yeah, this is our medic. Um, I'm in the hospital, soba broj, room number, whatever. Feel free to invent any number, okay? Doktori su radili neophodne analize. 
like the doctors did the necessary analysis. I ne brini, dobro sam. And don't worry, I'm fine. Okay. So here we have in uh, imperative ne brini, dobro sam, I'm fine. Okay. Doctors su našli nešto mom srcu. The doctors found something in my heart. So this is the past tense. I assume you just sit oti, and I doubt it's you. Okay. And aha, tada. Here you are also something uh, nice for, um, yeah, and something sweet. So here I used uh, some conditions. So, kada sam s tobom, lepši mi je dan. When I'm with you, my day uh, literally it means uh, my day be becomes uh, prettier. Okay, but here I mean... Uh, it makes my day, okay? Kada te sanjam, svađi mi je san. So, when when I dream on you, my dream becomes sweeter, okay? Kada se budim, mirišu mi juta. When I wake up, my mornings smell. So, mirišu comes from mirisati verb. And, of course, the mornings uh, will not actually uh, smell on their own. <laughs> Um it's actually metaphorically said. So it means that um like that at that moment this person can feel the smell of the person who um he or she loves. Okay. That that's the point. And Katasam Stobum names in the Sutra. And whenever I'm with you, I do not think about the future. Okay. Yes, uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that um, mini lesson about flirting in a little bit more advanced way. And please uh, feel free to write down your comments and tell me which one was your favorite one and why. And also tell me if you're about to apply one of them or not. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.